Thank you, sir. Thank you, Dr. Shokwe. <coughs> when you're still a student at Medical University of South Africa, was Professor Mokokong still a vice chancellor and director there? Um, no. At the, at, the, sorry, sorry, sorry. At, at, at the time, there was a time whereby he had to resign. In the middle, at the beginning, yes, he was. Yes. In the middle, he had to resign. And then from there, there was uh, Debir um, who came in. No, I don't worry about his success. Uh, I just wanted to know whether at the time at which you studied today, was he still a professor? Okay. Okay. No. He was for the, for the first, I think, first year. Oh, okay, oh. in your fledging stages oh. of your studies. Oh. Thank you. Comprehensive medical assessment. You still remember that word? Yes. Where did it come from? Uh, it means a full. Uh, no, I don't want you to give me a description or a definition of that word. Oh, it means a comprehensive, uh, yes. a fully clouded, uh, a fully well done examination of an individual given what you have in hand. Comprehensive examination, which you could when they conke, no more beggar conke. Thank you, Doc. Listen carefully. I'm asking you, in the course of your testimony, where did that weight come from? Comprehensive medical assessment. If you so remember, let me assist you. Mm -hmm. When the state, state was just about to close um, 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 leading you, his examination in chief, he asked to you whether, in terms of what you did, there was a comprehensive medical assessment, mm -hmm. and then you said yes. Do so you remember? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that, what, that, that was not a question. Yeah, I can tell you what the question was. was. There's a, a deception where they do a preliminary <laughs> Uh, assessment community and, service, is it? And he also does. Is that you talking about Mr. Minister? Community service? No, my lord. Um, oh, okay, um, as, I, as I understood the state, I think that was the anti penultimate question okay. to the witness where he says, Would you then regard what you did? I'm just paraphrasing the okay, state. Yeah, Would you regard what you did as a comprehensive medical assessment? And the doctor said yes. Probably the record can clarify that. that that's not what the witness said. The state asked him, he said there's a station at reception where they do a preliminary examination and then the patient then comes to him and the state then asks him, in light of the fact that <coughs> you know, um, the was this pre preliminary examination and he also did an examination, so it was a comprehensive examination. That, that was the question. Uh, my Lord, I don't want to be unfair with the witness here. Otherwise, I'll be deviating from the oath that I take that as I embark on this profession, I'll be here to assist the court at all costs. I am not so sure whether the court will be amenable to allow us the opportunity to go to the record. I mean, to listen to the tape recordings, just to clarify this issue or just to put this issue at rest. Because I don't want to be unfair to this witness. Counsel put this question to the witness, the witness can come. Uh, the state is in no way authorized to tell me how to conduct my cross-examination. Now he's objecting that what I'm putting to this witness is not what he said to this witness, and I heard him well. Now I say, let's go to the record, or to the transcript, or to the audio recording, then you say I should continue putting my questions. What kind of a process is that? What kind of a procedure is this? Because by the very fact that he's objected to what I've said, he's basically insinuating that what I've put to this witness is not what he said. And I maintain that that is exactly what he said. Now he says, let me continue with, the, with, the, with my question. And I'm saying to the court, out of respect for this witness, I don't want to proceed with a question that I'm putting to this witness that is disputed. Let us put this aspect of whether or not the state put to this witness that 
would you then therefore say that based on what you did, that was a comprehensive medical assessment? That is just to paraphrase him. That should be beyond doubt before I proceed with this question. Let me tell you, from what I was asked, I don't remember yes. and I don't recall when he says comprehensive. Remember comprehensive, Uganda, listen to me. Remember com comprehensive, it's, it's an examination that was done on an individual. Understand me, sir. Mm. Understand me. Mm. Understand me. Sorry, Mr. Minister. This word did not come from you. It came to the state. And then you concurred with the state that you did a comprehensive medical examination on the patient that you saw on that day. Now the state, as I'm repeating that question, then the state is saying, no, that is not what the state put to you. We are not part of the dispute. Let me assure you, we are not, you, 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 you. We are not part of the list, the dispute, you see. The dispute is about me having understood the state Sorry, in a different Mr. way than you paraphrased, I mean, than you said the question. Let's, yes, my lord. Let's try and resolve this. Yes. Doctor, do you recall being asked the question as was <coughs> related what, to you by... What I recall, yeah. I recall being asked yeah. is what, not from my mindset, if what I have I have uh, 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 said here, or what I have written here, it's uh, a, a, an honest and straightforward assessment of an individual. That's what I remember. Ege kumbula yoge mina kikbuzo wa gilana ukutige uikwenyiso yini loku ukutige assessment na mage upegabe na mage uksola age umundu. Eenda kwa yenza ngo kumbula wame. Gwana lago ngo kumbula mbuzo mbuzo. May we go to the record, Matt? Yeah. Mm. To the audio. As it is a record, Matt. Okay, can you trace the audio for us? When did you <coughs> so it was end, just so what? I think it was his anti penultimate question. Last but two questions before he closed his cross examination. I mean, his evidence in chief. This is more towards the end, my yes. lord, where. Before the cross examination? Yes, or, or free examination, where I asked the witness. In light of the fact that the patient first had his vital signs taken at the reception and he also did the examination, so it was a comprehensive from the one who used the word. Okay. Can you find that, sir? You have what? I have it. I can't hear. I have it. Oh, you, you, the volume is low. Yes. Is that the place? Yes, But maybe it should be able to go closer to the What's the score, Mr. Minister? Two nil. I say the score is it two nil. <laughs> It's not too nearly, my mm. Actually, what? ten not. Three nil. Ten. ten. And you win. Yes. Okay. Thank Did you, you hear the, the translation? I mean, the, the recording? I, 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 I could hear, I could hear <coughs> that, my lord, and I know exactly what I said. Okay, fine. Continue, Mr. As it is. Yes.
Now, that which you are referring to as a comprehensive medical report is what is contained in this medical form here. That That's a that is not correct. That is that is not what I put to the witness who spent the whole afternoon until the cows come home come home. Let me once again try to clarify this. The witness said before the patient comes to him, he goes to reception, they take the vitals. Objection, Manot. Objection. He who testifies and needs to give answers to the question is the witness. Yes, I, I'm raising objection, Manot. The, the, the witness mentioned that they also check for signs of trauma and thereafter the, the, the patient then comes to him and he does his examination. So the question was, in light of the fact that the patient first goes to reception, they take the vital signs, they check for trauma, then uh, the witness, the patient comes to him, it's an inclusive um, a, a examination. That, that is what was put to the witness. Yeah, okay, I will check this later. But Mr. Nisi, you can cross-examine this witness on the basis of what you say you heard. As it is a court case. Okay. So, that which you are referring to, to my question, that which you are referring to as a comprehensive medical report is in essence what is contained in the form that you took this court through. Let me answer you quite very correctly and clear before you go and twist it. Yes or again. no? Listen, um, this is a comprehensive dental examination. Good. <laughs> this is a comprehensive dental. It's even written on the top I that this is a dental services and starts Good. there. Don't Meaning you. that any dentist in mm. any practice, mm. in any uh, 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 government institution, yes. they should have the standards of these things. These are the things that we are taught yes. in order to go through for the patient. Thank you. And every line that I have, everything I have said, mm. I was going through all the lines that were here. I didn't drag something from somewhere and then bring it inside. Thank you. Lana man could make and go to Pelel and Mango Pelel and Kulumanga, Logo Oku Patelen and also Logo Namaga Opegwage and go to Semlon in the Amazino, Obake Pali with Nala. You were telling me that it is even written here. Mm -hmm. This is just she. But I can see here. It is written in the Tabane Community Health Center Dental Services. Thank you. Now, on what basis do you then say that what you did on the patient, I don't know who the patient was, but the patient that we saw on that day constituted a comprehensive medical assessment and not a comprehensive dental assessment. I'm going to continue. I think in this case I'm saying it from my point of view. I was called in to talk about this. If you're going to talk about a comprehensive assessment, you guys should have went straight up to the healthcare center and got the whole file of the patient and then brought it here and also with the medical examiners that were there and also the nurses that were there because I'm part of a group. I'm alone. I can't say what the nurse did. I can't say what the doctor did. So in my turn, I'm, I'm telling the story that I saw, the story that I did Thank on you. my own. Thank you. So meaning that me dragged into uh, a corner of things that I'm not supposed to know, it's something else. Lana and Kuluba, Bogues by Minage, a Namalo, or Patelin and Nawam Umsebins, Umabu, Utige, Usakfuna, Ponga, Manja, Abekanji, where you are Konagan, Tolampi, La Pena, was a Tata if I lay a nagge, while letter foot in a lab, Abba Sevens, a quarter lap of lay on nine lay, okay, Yasem Tolampi, Naboga, Baletola, Ying a Fawage, a Konen, Lesin Dominage, Engazazi, Gobagan, Ying, Nayan, Ye, Koyimbo. No, nobody is trying to lead you into a snare. You're not being cornered here. It's 
just what you told the court. I am asking questions based on what you told the court. It is therefore an error to therefore to have told the court that what you did to the patient that you saw on that day, who is the subject of this um, hearing, and the reason why you're here today, it is therefore an error to have told the court that what it did on him was a comprehensive medical assessment. Because, as you say, you don't know what the others did. That's all. In my response? Yes. Respond. I did say everything that I've said, what I'm trying to actually point out, it's, yes. it's on this document. Yes. Therefore, that means that I was just basically doing my job. That's what I was supposed to have done. And according to my scope, yes. from where I know, yes. comprehensive medical examination mm. involving a patient as a dentist, it entitles this. That's what my job. I can't go and do what a doctor does if I'm not. Uh, a, a doctor. These are the things that are supposed to. The file is saying everything. So I don't get uh, where we are leading to. Ugutike uhole lapi, we have opinion dao, angazige, kotwa mina enkulumanga, ilo kwe palo la nage, ego igo nage, ugutike iko na okupelele, okutwele, o inga kwa enza maela, nalo msebe nzi mina engu enza ayo, angwazige uguti nkulume na mangisho, ogu enzi wa utogotela mina enga siena. Doc, I'm going to employ you and plead with you to be very patient and be calm. And don't rush. Because in South Africa, there's no rush. The rush is in Russia where they rush. But what I'm putting it to you is this. It is therefore a misnomer, an error to have told this court that what you did on the patient on that day was a comprehensive medical examination in instances where you only dealt with these patients on the question of the teeth. Not so. Mr. Court, please, ma'am. The, the witness has repeatedly answered that question. Is there any point in repeating the same question, uh, by counsel? Mm -hmm. uh, thank you, madam. Let us proceed, sir. Yeah. Now, what is contained in this form suggests that um, what you did is can be referred to a comprehensive medical assessment. Now, you have said, and I'm not saying this is a, a comprehensive medical assessment. It's just a, just a hypothetical situation. Now, you have said that uh, when the patient arrived, actually your duties as a, as, 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 a, as, a, as a as a dentist, you start to treat the patient from his waist. Assess. I said assess, not treat. I can't treat you the patient. Assess. 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 Yes. Mm. Well, let's get it. Let's get it right. Let's get it assess. Right. Mm. Yes. Assess. Just mm. come down. And um, the dictionary says assess. Assess is what you see not examined. Those are two different types of examinations. Yes. They are listed. There is inspection, assess. Assess is what you see. Thank you for the lecture, sir. I think for the whole day you have given a lecture, but thank you. You said as a dentist, you assess a patient from the waist upwards. And so, thank you. Now you told to the court, as per this form, that um, you checked his general appraisal. What did you say again? What is a general appraisal? That's the way the assessment comes in. So that's where I'm. I what believe, did you say is I general appraisal? General appraisal is yes. the general look of a patient. Thank you. Eben Gushogala, Ubuti, Uma Umpega, Ubu Genja, Ubon, Injela, Abugaganga. You went on to tell the court that you 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 also looked at his TW joints, his, his lymph nodes, his lips and buccal mucosa, his oropharynx and tonsils. 
flow of the mouth, the tongue, the gingival and periodontium, angle classification, teeth chart, and ultimately you did the teeth chart. Teeth chart. So that's all. Thank you. Now, the state says to you, did the patient tell you that he was assaulted? And what was your answer? The patient never stated any assault. The uh, uh, only image that I was given, it was from uh, the policeman that came in that we are looking for whether the patient had a gold tooth or not. I was assessing for that. And therefore, meaning when you assess for that, you need to state every, every, question, every question that's here. You need to state what it means and what it might indicate and what other things when you say it's abnormal and it's normal. So Doctor. I can't state or it's normal and it's abnormal Doctor. without stating. Doctor, mm -hmm. Doctor, can you please understand the question? The mm -hmm. question that I'm posing is the state, mm -hmm. that my colleague, mm -hmm. the prosecutor, says to you, ask you whether the patient told you whether he was assaulted. I'm asking you, what was your answer to this question? My answer was simple, from me. From my assessment, I didn't see any sign that the patient was assaulted. Is that what your answer was when the state asked you that question? As a court case, I mean, this is a memory test. You know, um, the, the witness gives evidence in chief. If, 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 if there's a question that, that my learned friend needs to ask, can he just maybe ask the witness, how is the witness now supposed to play his mind back? Remember each and every question that he was asked and what his answer was. Uh, we submit, Mama, that that is not fair. Mm. Yes, Mr. Misi. There is nothing unfair with the question, Manos. I think just my colleague is a little bit reckless. Um, let me remind you, when my colleague, and I'm well within my rights to ask you to repeat the question that my colleague asked you, but this is what you told the Can court. I say? Can I say? Listen, I, say, listen. I, this is not a circus. Listen. Uh -huh. I am still speaking. This is not a circus. Okay. Yes. Yeah, when my colleague said to you or asked you this question, whether or not the patient that you saw on that day told you that he was ever assaulted, <coughs> your answer was, no, he never told me. Is that not what you said? Isn't it saying from my inspection and from what I was told? Isn't the same thing? Isn't assessment and also the is questions I never the question you said. Is there an, okay, let me ask you, is there anything in here? from this document that says I should ask a patient if they were, they were assaulted? You know, I seem to doubt your level of understanding what I'm saying, and basically it will go down to the level of you understanding me as a doctor, you know. I thought at some stage me and you being a doctor would be plus minus be on the same level of understanding each other. But the way in which your, your, your trajectory is proceeding, I seem to have a very serious problem. A very serious problem, you see. Thank you. What you told this court as a response to the question that my colleague asked you on whether or not the accused, asked, uh, I mean, the, that the patient that you saw on that day told you that he was assaulted, you specifically said, no, he never told me that he was assaulted. That is the answer that is on record. I am therefore basing the following question on the Did you expect him? I'm not finished. I was I'm not finished. Okay. I'm not finished. I'm just pausing. 
Did you expect him to give you that answer when you did not ask him that question? No. No. Lana ke umbuzi uthi ke ubuziwe ngumshushisi ukuthi wambuza yini nama ke wakutela yini ukuthi lona ke washayi wakhe wabe usuthi wena ke xa ingabe ke manje umbuzo olandelayo uthi uma ke ukuthi wena ke akwazi umbuzo lo umbuzo lo wawulindele ukuthi akutshele yini xa Thank you Did it ever okay in your mind that you should ever ask him whether he was assaulted I'm not supposed to ask if a patient is assaulted or not. That's, that's a medical officer's uh, 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 way of doing I'm supposed to be able to identify if there are any signs and then report them. Those Thank are you. quite very different things. Thank you. Now, in terms of your assessment, examination of the patient, on the basis of what you've just said, now you assessed him and found that you could not find a possible sign that suggests that he was assaulted. Not so. Thank you. In your examination of the patient on the notion that this was a comprehensive medical examination, did you check his eyes? Yes or no? I go back to the file. Yes. I was saying everything that was on the file. Yes. We are a footy good thing. Our pega metro up and we are a footy good file. Then, Langi Shogonke, Ogukon, and Namaga Opali were Conala. Did you check his, 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 did you check his ears? <laughs> I go back to the file. Yes. Why pega eat in the Zaka and we are a footy get you on a file? Did you check his nostrils? That's a general, I did say, I explained right now, or one of the signs that's, that's there that when you assess, you check the mouth area and also you check the nose, or whether it's, there is any deformity. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm not eligible to open the patient's nose and check whether there is something inside it whatsoever. I'm checking the general prison, I didn't speak of that. Thank you. Would you dispute it if I were to say to you, had you gone an extra mile, and I know that was not your area of operation, but had you gone an extra mile to check his eyes, uh, or maybe to examine his eyes, if I may put it like that, and probably to examine his ears, there could have been possible signs that would have led you to conclude that something had happened to this gentleman. Would you dispute that? Examination of the eyes is done by an optometrist. That I understand. For the ear, it's that done by an audiologist. Thank you. So, if I'm going the extra mile, I will be doing what's not within my scope. Thank you. That I understand. So as, a, so, as a result, I cannot say I would have been able to confirm yes. or deny those things because that's not what that's not my job. Thank you. It's the same as asking a carpenter to check whether a car has a oil leak or not. Oh, you're yeah, a carpenter. I know, I'm asking. Oh. <laughs> it's the same as that. Oh, okay. Huh. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. With the carpenter example. Do you then realize that the fact that you told this court 
that on your examination, you could not detect whether or not the patient that you see on that day was assaulted. That conclusion is based on a very, on a very light, and a, and a, what do they call it now? A cursory. A cursory, yes. <laughs> a cursory examination of what you did on that day. I was here. Do you understand the term cursory? It means very, very, very light. It's yeah. Yeah, yeah, wonderful. Yeah. Listen. Yeah. I was not here yeah. to actually confirm yes. or make sure whether the patient was 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 uh, traumatized or whatever. I was yes. here to read the thing that I filled up, the document that I had in my position. Thank you, sir. That's what I was here for. Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you, so basically, that is the information that now you, you're directing to the state, that you were not called upon here to come and state whether or not the, uh, I mean, uh, that the patient that you saw on that day was assaulted. Is that a message that you now? Message I'm delivering is, the yes, as I took oath, Thank you. whenever I'm required yeah. to come and explain what I have done, I'm supposed to come in front of the court or any Yes. Where, where I'm required to say what I have done. That's what I'm actually referring to. So that I was in, I, I'm now I'm not here to, 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 to confirm uh, um, whether the patient has gone through any trauma. I'm supposed to say from what I've seen, yes. my examination, what does yes. it say yes. to everyone who sees the yes. page? Does it say the patient was traumatized yes. or the patient had any sort of lesions or the patient is, has any sort of disease? Yes. That's basically what I'm here for. Thank you. So you're basically saying you can't tell whether the patient was assaulted or not. The patient that you saw on that day. You can at certain instances, at certain severities, whereby it's there with, through what we are taught to assess and certain conditions. The file, as it was saying, when you go through the, uh, the clinical examinations, this is the parts of the things that we're saying or to a general dentist, if a patient it's, was assaulted, to a certain extent, you can be able to, I did mention that, if a patient, yes, they were actually assaulted, they were bruised, they had uh, a blue eye, or maybe they were busy, choked, or there was any sort of uh, uh, trauma that happened to them due to the form, the way in which it is, I, was, I could be able to detect or there are bruises where and where due to the form that I have. Meaning, or, yes, a person can go an extra mile because it's, it's even, this, this is what we call, uh, uh, um, in medical term, there is internal, internal damage for an individual. Meaning, or a patient can appear to you right now saying or they're having a, they have a head that's bleeding inside a, a third vessel but you can't even tell it because whenever you can't see it but there's someone specific who's supposed to go an extra mile and check that so i'm not i was not supposed to go an extra mile i was supposed to do what's on the file i did that i said that that was my job my question <laughs> So because you are not that person, you therefore can't say, you can't really dispute as a matter of effect that the patient that you saw on that day prior to you seeing him he has been pummeled into a morose of bitterness. He has been, but he was assaulted. You can't dispute that. Maybe you didn't actually really understand maybe what <laughs> I have narrated to you. Let me, let me rebrief you again. Understand here, there is a certain extent yes. whereby you can be able to identify such things, yes. but there are some extent that you can't. That's why whenever a patient mm. comes and complains of clinical signs of being even to a general doctor they might send them to an rms scan, send them to an x-ray to further do further investigation that they couldn't see with the naked eye so mm. now from what i've seen i was told that i'm looking for whether there's a cheap tooth 
that uh, 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 gold came out from mm -hmm. and then I assessed that in mm -hmm. general and then I also checked everything that's there from what I know from what's within this file. Mm -hmm. It says from what this file says in conclusion it says mm -hmm. from my knowledge due to the file mm -hmm. that was created by the state which is allowed to be practiced in, in Northwest in that Tavina district. I didn't see any signs from what I have seen. That's what I can be able to say. Saying or I can say uh, if I had gone an extra mile, saying or if I had, uh, I can conclude and I can say, I'm saying yes, I can conclude to a certain extent, not further and beyond. Certain things will have needed to be further examined further on. But to my extent, that's what I could see. So that means from what I could see, that's what's there on the file. Uh, you said, did you understand my question? You also didn't understand my answer, maybe. <laughs> Your question was, can I conclusively... Say, can say, I conclusively... Uh, say, Mr. Nissen, now did, we are you, in, did you understand my question? No, just wait. We are now involved in a debate with a witness. Just put to the witness what your instructions are. Thank you. Or what you logically think. Thank you, Matthias. He can conclude having Thank done you, what he calls a comprehensive assessment. Thank you, Matthias. Otherwise, we'll be here yes. until, until. Thank you, Matthias. Let me spare you the acronym, you say. I am putting to you that with the little assessment that you did on the patient <coughs> on the 22nd of June 2020, you are in no way you were not actually positioned to come and tell this court emphatically, or as a matter of effect, that the patient that you saw on that day, prior to him coming to you, he was assaulted. Do you have any comment? No, I don't have any comment. Thank you. Go solo the Oval and Zag and among the Lagi, Oam Tolo and Gayoge, our Pogissimo, the Soko to Gaza, the Roman Candolo, Ugo, Chela, and Pelagi, Ugotica, Aga, Zangi, Ashari, Utica, Abu Kanga Bush. Thank you, sir. Sir, let me speak with the Agori. That would have been my last question to you. Thank you.